from beautiful, windy, yeah. warm, yeah. sunny California <laughs> in the south. It's the Suzanne Summers Show, and here she is. No, I've never been able to whistle properly. No. This is it. Were you one of those guys that did it? Can you do it? I can't, can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. No, it's I can't even weird. do the thing with two fingers in, yeah. my, in my mouth. I can't I do it. I used to like it. I know this is not cool. And I know it's um, not woke. But uh, <laughs> I used to like it when I'd walk down the street and guys would give me that whistle. I'd think, thanks. Well, I, I remember... <laughs> I'm from a different era. I, when um, we were in... in uh, New York years ago, uh -huh. I don't know, 35 years ago, and we're walking past a construction site, and you remember with one of the guys yelled out? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I love that. Do you want me to do it? I do it. Okay. okay. Hey, Suji, <laughs> nice tips. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. No, that's, that's the era of men that I grew up with, though, and I understand the where sound was coming from. And you know, those two okay. words are going to find its way around the world. You watch. What? Nice tits? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that it was yelled at me on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> I actually was mortified. I was like, no, I think I just done the Regis, I think it was Regis and Kathy Lee show. That was a great era, Regis and Kathy Lee. Yeah go on that great audience he had and then we go out on the street and cook because that's when I was doing all the summer size stuff so they'd always set up a whole like a kitchen on the side street next to ABC in, in uh, New York I remember one day I'm uh, talking to Regis and I'm doing something and Kathy Lee's there and she goes look at Hamill because Alan gets nervous when I'm out on the street and he's always got the dark glasses on and he was always looking around you know like for any bad guys, and she goes, Look at Hamill. He's watching his little cash cow. <laughs> <laughs> I was. And I'm thinking, Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> that, that comment is stuck. We, we've been repeating and laughing about that one for years. For years, yeah, cash cow. But then it turned out I am. I am the little cash cow. That's right. No, I just like it. I cannot sell anything I don't love. And I know you all know me well enough to know that I, I don't BS about my stuff ever, ever, ever. Because I just, I think it's so great. I was talking to my physical therapist today. Because I, you know, I'm with him every other day. And he had watched the other show on Gut Renew. And he wants Gut Renew so bad. And I'm thinking, why? He is, you know, he's 35 years old. He's got one of those, I, I, I watch him and I go, your arms are, are my goal. And he said, um, but I really heard what you said. I said, what did I say? And he said, about, we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. I said, well, that is true. And he said, you know, I just kept thinking about that all night. And I said, people are not taking it seriously. Today I read something frightening, frightening. And I hear there's some series that's kind of like a handmaiden's tale. Have you heard of that, Caroline? Oh, by the way, hello, Caroline. Yes, hi. Have yes, you... I have. I've watched it. Okay. So I wrote about this in my last three books that the sperm count uh, for males in, in, in this country is down by 45%. In Sweden, only 10% of the males um, are able to reproduce. This is... Uh, this is threatening humanity, and um, they say, they think, it's from the chemicalization of us, and I, that's what I've always thought, but how did we think, if we confuse the body by putting stuff in our body that the body was never meant to process, our livers, remember our livers over here, are groaning because it makes glutathione, and that's our detox um, organ, but it's like uh, the, the liver at some point goes, I give, and um, there's a lot of things happening to people. I hope, I hope I'm wrong. That's what I hope. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that it's okay to eat poison on your food. And I hope it's okay to spray poison all over your house and clean it. And I hope it's okay to put chemicals and poison on your skin. I really do. Because so many people are using them. But just in case. Okay. Stick with me, girls and okay. guys. 
Okay. I'm bringing you stuff that has no chemicals, yeah. and that's I'm so proud of it. Yeah. And we, as a little company, are so proud of it. And the byline of our company is doing well while doing good. That's and right. I love that. What? Now? Well, I was just back to the sperm count yeah. comment. Yeah. I had this vision yeah. of like a whole army of guys with white coats sitting in a lab somewhere. Okay. And what they've done is, they, and they've, you have to do this, okay? They have divvied up the sperm, okay? And they're all sitting there counting. How else do you count? The, we say sperm count. Oh, yeah, this is your hypothetical. Yeah, right. right. So they're sitting there counting sperm, okay? Now, if the sperm is active, it's swimming, right? How do you, how do you That's count? That's really hard to count. How do you count a swimming sperm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... It was a devastating report that I read this morning, but the fact that I've written about it in the last of my few books, I know part of it anyway to be true, that um, what they were talking about in 2054, in 2054, that they'll have to figure out a way to grow people outside of the womb because the wombs are no longer able and the sperm is no longer potent. You know what? I don't believe all that uh, futuristic right. stuff. I don't. It's like, I don't know if you remember this, yeah. but many years ago, probably 45 years ago, we met with that accountant actuary to set up our pension funds. Or what it, yeah. That's what they were I, called then. I never okay. paid, I don't know if you've noticed, but I never pay attention okay. to the, you know who I become when we have to go to lawyers' offices or accountants' offices? I become Chrissy Snow. I sit there like this. <laughs> well, also, I took you to a meeting of one of my closest friends who was uh, president of the network, the CBC network in yeah. Canada. Yeah. And we went into his office, and within five minutes, you were asleep. Yeah, well, that means I'm too busy. Yeah. Bye. Can you turn the air up a little bit? Yeah, certainly. There's a lot of hot air in here right now. Well, um, you know, it is what it is. We, I said it on the Gut Review show the other day. We walked into the chemicalization of us recently. We believed that if it was for sale and available, that it was safe. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it is. I really hope it is because humanity is so beautiful and we the people are so beautiful. So I'm doing my little part. You all, because you come to the show, you are doing your little part. And thank you all for coming to the Gut Renew Show. Wow, that's like, holy crap. Well, wow. uh, Ramon Camper loves your green and blue. Yeah, it was like you were talking, Caroline was saying, indelicately the other day. You have no idea how much crap is stuck in our whole digestive tract. And so when you poo, that's only the last part of it. It's only from your ear. You still got all this. Remember the tennis court I talked about? It's the length of the tennis court. You got. 98% of the tennis court left where it's... it's hold it, hold up. it, hold it. Are you saying that your poo is the length of a tennis court? Your GI, GI tract is the length oh, of a tennis okay. court. But what you okay. poo out, generally, because most people are constipated, is just the last few inches in your large uh, uh, colon. In your, in, yeah, the large colon. So you're pooing this much. Whoa. But you've got a whole tennis court worth of poo up here. And I'll tell you, it's not... What our intent was with the gut renew, but um, it, it's that's that, that's what you're all saying that you're just like you can't believe Caroline and Bruce, my son and daughter-in-law, who's also the she's the president of our company. They they food their brains out for a month, and man, do they! Look, every time I look at the two of you on camera, and you were here the other day, I've never seen you look that beautiful, Caroline. Really, really. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. But I meant I don't. You know, well, everything you know. What's your Healthy, hear me what I'm saying. If your gut isn't healthy, Excuse you me. are not healthy. 
Why do you need two of those, Alex? Because they're both different. And we only have oh, okay. we only have one copy. Today, what's, what's you, okay. you, Caroline came up with this thing today. What's it called, Caroline? It's called... Today is, um, it's help is on the way for your hair, skin, and nails. So we have a mega hair serum. It's called Mega Hair Serum. Okay. And it is So this is the mini kit. Is what, $200? Yeah. yeah, the mega kit first. Work. Not real price. You can't afford the mega kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? You know, I'm now starting, um, it used to be if you are invited to someone's home for dinner, you bring a bottle of wine, right? I don't do that anymore. I bring a bag of our stuff and everyone's so happy. But you know what I'm adding to it now? What Alan was holding up right now? I'm now giving um, bags that the first thing I put in is the hair, skin, and nail supplement. Hair, skin, and nail. You got bad hair or skin or nails, you take four of these a day until you don't have bad hair or skin or nails. And then um, it's usually this, this uh, kit that we put together. So we've got in this hair, skin, and nails, we've got the rescue mask, get your hair all stringy. One of the things that happens as you get older and you lose your hormones, and you can look all over the house for them, you're not going to find them uh, until you read one of my books. If you are in your 30s and 40s, read I'm Too Young for This because you're not. And if you're any other age, read that book because that's probably my most comprehensive. And all my books on hormones are so good. But anyway, it has nothing to do with the hair rescue mask, but everything to do with it because when you are hormone deficient, you're in decline, remember? My last book, A New Way to Age, aging is about worn out parts. One of the things that wears out is your ability to have young, youthful, shiny, glowy, healthy hair. The rep, hair, skin, and nails, the supplements, the rescue mask, and it's got really stringy hair. Do it once a week, twice a week, do it every day. You can't overdo it, just do it. And then the Ageless Serum for your skin, because this is how the whole thing began, and I'll tell you that. And then, my baby, the coconut oil. Oh yeah. I almost hate when I give a gift bag to somebody instead of a bottle of wine, I give them this. It's like a, a, um, a mouth you can't ever fill up. They but also, I think it's important to mention that it's got broccoli oil, raspberry seed oil, argan, argan, argan oil, yeah. uh, jojoba oil, 10W40, no, no I'm just 10, kidding. I gave this to my friend who was the ambassador to Germany, and I created a monster, because while he's over there, you think maybe you could send me, so I was sending him, these, like, these aren't cheap. Anyway, he's worth it, and he's great. Hi, baby. So I just wanted to relay what uh, some wonderful uh, woman mentioned. What? That you look fabulous in green and blue, and I agree. Oh, it's actually purple. That's what I said. Green <laughs> <laughs> and purple. Yeah. Okay. And you Thank look you. you look beautiful this evening. Really? Yeah. Really? And I threw myself together in like two minutes, didn't well, I? Maybe that's the secret. Huh? Yeah. Don't spend too much time, yeah. huh? Yeah. I I love putting color together, and I believe any color goes with any color as long as they are the same intensity. So if you notice, this green is an intense green, and this purple is an intense purple. If I put on a dusty pink with this, it, it wouldn't pop. But if I put dusty pink with a dusty turquoise, now it's gonna work. So that's how colors work, I think. Thank you for that. I have, I have a comment for you from our friend Ryan Holmes. Mm -hmm. He said, these paper masks are killing the skin on my face, red, mm -hmm. dry, So what we have as our sample is not the bonus. I'll go and hold it inside, okay? 
Okay. <laughs> Don't go away. Okay. Yeah. I, I wear 16 that, hats on the show. Is that the bonus size? I thought the bonus. I have a, no, it's not. I have the bonus size. It is. Oh, no, you do it. It is one ounce. I told you. See, I only play dumb on TV, Carolyn. Well, what is the other one? Is the other one? The they're other both, one. I they're both the one out. Sure one out. So imagine the bonus size is this, okay? It's two and a half times that size. Yeah. You are yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so you, you guys are new to Suzanne's supplements. Yeah. <laughs> the Nail Renew is one of our best-selling supplements, and... Good. I cannot live without this product. I have been taking it for, how long have you been selling this? Two years? Mm -hmm. I had lost so much hair you from did. stress when my father was sick. This product helped restore my hair. My nails are stronger than ever. My skin got nicer looking. I will never not use this product. It Your hair. Always, always, always. If I take nothing else, I take my hair, skin, and nail. Your hair, the other day, when you were here, it's the most beautiful I've ever seen it look. It's beautiful. You look beautiful. It's all, I mean, it's really, I have to say, this this product really helped restore. Yeah. I was losing hair by the handfuls, and I think it was just high cortisol from high stress. Um, and it's really, really helped. I started seeing the baby hairs come back. Mm. Then I started feeling the thickness back, but the ends were still streaming. Mm. Now it's completely through beautiful. all the way to the ends. person and the way you took care of your father the last year of his life is everyone should be so lucky she'd go down and she'd cook these incredible Italian meals for him and, and she video him and he'd sit with his tray and he'd just look at the camera and go oh he, you made him so happy that was a great thing to do. you deserved your beautiful hair you earned it, <laughs> you earned it. that was a long drive so. Okay, here's the, here's the, okay. It's I don't want to say good. something it was Brian about the age of staring in this mask. I think it was Brian. I know it was a B word. Brian, yeah, it's Brian. Brian. Okay. You talking, Alan? Uh, nothing important. Okay. I, I'm still so, stuck on who's counting the sperm. Oh, okay. okay. Well, after you finish figuring out who counted the sperm, I just yeah. want to talk to Brian about the age no, of staring. No, I'll tell you, if there is a sperm counter watching this show right now, I would appreciate it if you would, uh, whatever they call it, type to me or text to me yeah. and tell me how sperm counters, how they count the sperm. Really, you want to know this? I'd like to know. Yeah. Okay, and also I'd like to know mm -hmm. how many source subjects there are. Okay? Donors. Donors. Oh, okay. There have to be donors. What were you going to say to Brian? I was going to say to Brian. What? About the age of Sarah, we're discounting what you just said, Alan. Nothing, kind of you. Oh, nothing, <laughs> nothing important. Nothing important. Um, the age of Sarah. When I first decided to go into this clean, organic business, um, I was using a very expensive cream called La Mer. And it was $150 a jar. And I was on Three's Company at the time, and I thought, I can afford that. And it was beautiful, beautiful. So when I started working with my formulator, I said, can you get anywhere close to this cream here? She said, oh, I can do so much better than that. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, if you ever took chemistry, which I didn't, she said, um, oil and water, as we all know, doesn't mix. So in order to make cream, which is mixing oil and water, you've got to denature the water. And when you denature the water, that's it. Can you put that down now, Al? Pardon? Can you put that down while I finish my... Oh, I'm finish? sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. so annoying. Okay, just there it is. It is so annoying. Okay. Oh <laughs> uh, that's the Al we have today. We have annoying Al. I know how to annoy you. Okay. What I, I'm saying is interesting, Al. I know. Well, it's fine here okay. on Facebook. I want my 
Once I go to Instagram, I have to cover your face so that people can see what the mega kit looks like. Okay, you need to now put it down. Just let me finish this. Okay, can, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. Okay. You know, they're going to be mad at you for doing that. They get okay. mad at you. Okay, I know. I know they will. I am okay. Okay, so. I, I, there are a lot of people mad at me. I'm fine with it. Doesn't them. mix. Yeah. So you have to denature the water. To denature the water is a chemical process. So that expensive cream I was using had some good stuff in it. Sea algae was the big push in that. But the chemicals they needed to make it turn into a cream created, in my estimation, um, a, a less than product. It had, to me, it had toxicity. So when I said to her, can you do better? She said, yeah. She said, uh, and this is what we came up with. She said, um, it's, it's, it's made from sea algae, but from purified waters. And there are the two main ingredients in this are sea algae from purified waters, which is the big buzz in wrinkles and peptides and sea algae, and African birch. African birch was used in Africa for centuries as a medicine. So you get all that incredible, um, from nature, ingredients from nature, pure, purified sea algae and African birch, which has medicinal effects. And that's why Brian, I'm back to you, Brian, wearing that mask, which is so difficult. I can't wait to the day they say the masks are over. I can't wait. But that would irritate your, your face and dry it out and make it raw and, and uncomfortable. You're putting sea algae and then the African birch, which has medicinal properties, and that's why it's making you feel so good. So I'm glad you asked, and I really wanted to explain that. Okay, uh, now, Al? Okay, no, no. There's an, no, there's an important <laughs> question here. By the way, can I just say one more thing yeah. before you start? To all of you out there who get mad at Al when he interrupts me like that, I love Al. <laughs> this is who else? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right, so. so on Instagram, there's an important question from Evola Fana, mm -hmm. e e and I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Evola Fana 75. She said, Al, why is a sperm whale called a sperm whale? Right. Now, I happen to know a little bit about whales, oh. okay? And there's one whale that's called, I think it's called a whale shark. It's 45 feet oh. long oh, and story. literally weighs tons, <laughs> okay? Now, if you wanted to count that, that, that whale's sperm, think about what you'd have to go through, yeah. okay? We could drain our swimming pool. Okay, it could create a tsunami. Yeah. And put it Imagine. all in the swimming pool, and then you could just and sit try to, all day and count. Try to, try to communicate to the sperm whale, this is... This is part of humanity, okay? We have to know where we're gonna go by 2054, okay? So it's not just important that we count humans, we have to count everybody's, okay? Because without whales, without sharks, where are we? Well, essentially what you're saying is every one of us living things That's matters. right. I remember reading a book. But the other thing is, okay? All you need is- Caroline is signing. Well, that's okay. She's, she's heavy breathing. Yeah. All you need. Those are aggravated sides. All you Caroline. need. But actually, that's rude, Caroline. Stop doing that. Yeah, all you <laughs> need is one egg. Uh -huh. We need millions of little swimming guys. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. okay? With the hope that one of them attaches to your one egg. Hopefully. Okay? That was Bruce. Yeah, there you go. Bruce. Okay. Bruce. I'm on for dear life. I was sent to Bruce, Caroline's husband, and my son. You were a good swimmer because you had to like, whoa, I'm going to jump on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I ever had sex. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we have fun with all of this. I was signed because Chi Chi was struggling. I was oh, I thought you were signed at aggravation. Okay. okay. I thought it was aggravation. This is the okay. mega oh, kit. Okay. This is the one with the big Shut discount. Up. That doesn't sound okay. Yeah. She's going to go about Here's the mini kit. She's it in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tia O'Dare said, that serum of yours is the bomb. My fave product so far, other than your toothpaste. Oh. So and, and today I... you're getting a killer deal on that serum. Now she's talking about Suzanne's Ageless Serum. This is one of Suzanne's number one selling products. Um, if you haven't tried the Ageless Serum, uh, please jump in and get this too. It's, it's, it's probably our best. Yeah. 
It's probably our best product. Here's the mini kit. I mean, mini kit. What is, what's best? It's all great. I'll tell you something else that's great about this. For those of you who have a face master, I'll wait till Alan puts that down. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, How's that? So great, Alan. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just. You ain't gonna get lucky tonight. <laughs> 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 well, just so you know, while he has the sign interface, yeah. I'll just tell you. The Ageless Serum on its own is $69.99. That, that That's size. that double size. So, what yeah. you're getting today are all three of those other products for hair, skin, and nails for only an extra $30. This isn't huge. It's just kind of on the mega kit. It's like the mega kit is our big deal of the day. So That's a huge discount. But I want to tell you something else about this. For those of you who have a face master, and if you don't, um, tough. I know, I know, I have wrinkles, and I know I'm aging. But I like the way I look, and you know why I like the way I look? I use my face master every single day, don't I, Alan? And I use it once or twice a week. Yeah, but every morning. Yeah, you do. Two things I do. I have right, That's right. here. Unfortunately, it's only those two things. <laughs> I have my little bag that has my cortisol and my um, thyroid, and I dole that out to the two of us. And then I have my face master right there, and next to it I have my age of serum. You know why? Why? Because this has conductivity. And so instead of the conductive fluid, which is oh, right. great, which right. comes when you buy the face master, but I use the age of serum. You know why? Because when I dip in and I do the lift here, the lift here, and I do the lift there, and do the lift here, and all that. At the end, I go over, it's called the eraser. I call it the eraser. When you take one to ground, it's a microcurrent, one to ground, and then go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. You drive the ageless serum into the skin um, with the uh, face master of wands. Just, just a little aside. That's not the reason to buy it, but I, I actually don't use the conductive fluid myself. I use the ageless serum as my Conductivity. Oh, by the way, Cheryl, Jack, who go, oh, what happened to it? Cheryl, who? Hang Brian, on. Brian, did you like my explanation? If Brian, if you're still there, tell me if you like Cheryl, it. Jack, Huga, Wunick. Okay. Cheryl, Jack, Huga, Wunick. Okay. Said argon oil is fantastic for naturally curly hair, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. The the argon oil and I is in what Suzanne calls the, uh, the uh, coconut oil. Has argan oil. Okay. Okay, I knew that. Yeah. I was just testing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She needs coconut moisture serum. I will read to you the oils that are in there. And I use it in my hair. Yeah. And is my hair not fantastic? Really? No, really. Think of it. Look at it. Great hair. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Great hair. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Here's what's in this. Why is it that we grow hair on our body where we don't want it, and we lose hair on our body where we do want it? Um, if anyone knows that answer, I'd appreciate um, the answer. Here's what's in this, okay? Virgin <laughs> organic coconut oil. Leave it alone for a minute, Al. Coconut-derived medium-chain triglycerides, and, and MCT. Safflower seed oil, broccoli seed oil, argan oil, metafoam seed oil, Raspberry seed oil, nigella seed oil, and seed buckthorn berry. That's all in this. And always the first ingredient is um, yeah, an indicator of what's most in here. So the, it's, the, the prevalence here is the virgin organic coconut oil and then all these other oils. And I'll tell you, don't waste a drop. When I use that oil, some nights I just put the oil on my face, just to like in my, but whatever's left over my hand, I pull through my hair. I just pull it through my hair. And it just, I don't know, it just yeah, softens. I do that. I put it on the sides of my arms. I like your husband, Caroline Bruce. I get these little bumps on the sides of my arms. I don't know what they are. When I put the, the uh, coconut moisture serum oil on my arms, it's gone for me. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have them anymore. Ah, it's he his doesn't oil. doesn't have them anymore because of the coconut moisture serum. It's great. And, you know, we put it in the kit today as your nail product, which it's amazing for cuticles. And also, My uh, manicurist uh, only uses the coconut moisture serum, not only for me, but for all her clients. Lori, if you're watching, I appreciate that use of it. She, I know she uses it because she loves it so much. 
so so far you've uh, mentioned your manicurist uh, and your Lauren. physical therapist. Yeah, okay. Lauren, what else is there? Okay. Um, Have you ever noticed that you need a therapist when you're growing up? And once you grow up, you need a physical therapist. Yeah, but I have a therapist. I strongly believe in therapy. I do too. I started therapy when Bruce was a little boy when he was run over by a car and was having these terrible nightmares. Yeah, I get my therapy from you. It, well, I'm sure it rubs off because I learned so much. I learned two things. That's why we get it at a half price. <laughs> two for one. I in therapy. And I, this takes a while to learn, but it's really important. you got to demand that people treat you the way you want to be treated. That's a big deal. And the other thing you learn in therapy, we're all driven by what we didn't get. And the object of therapy is to get to the bottom of that is so you can get over it. And once you get over it, life just gets so much easier. So don't let people treat you the way you, uh, unless it, 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 demand that people treat you the way you want to be treated. How do you do that? You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be mean to anyone. You can just like say, I, when you do that, oh, I learned how to argue in therapy too. And this helped my husband and I so much because in the first 10 years, believe it or not, Alan and I argued a lot because we were blending families. And blending families were the first generation that Blended families, all of you out there, and I know there are a lot of you who did that. Well, that's, we, be, that's before I learned how to say I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, there is, I always say, there is nothing more powerful than a true, heartfelt apology. Yeah. Done with humility. Yeah. Not like rush it off. Okay, I'm sorry. You gotta just look <laughs> at the other person and say, I am so sorry. I, I, am, I, I, I am so you sorry. You haven't done anything like that. But, um, I, but I'm but sorry. I about arguing. Can I bank a couple of sorries? For, okay. You know, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. You don't need to. You, you, God, you treat me so great. Um, what I learned in therapy about arguing is when you use the words you should, you never, you always, you back the other person into a corner and they have no other choice other than to strike back going, yeah, well, you never, you never, you should, and you always. But when you say, when you do that, whatever that is, it makes me feel this, whatever this is. And I okay. remember the first time that you and I tried that out on you, and you went, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that. Okay, and all right. It ended. Okay, I get it. I think it. Okay. these are important life lessons, and I'm 74, and I've got wisdom. Okay, so, right. and I have an example, okay? Okay, what? Okay, where you failed. You failed, mm -hmm. okay? A lot. When, when uh -huh. you use the last few bits on a toilet paper roll and you don't replace oh. it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay? I'm so sorry. Okay. You, I'm so sorry. Do you know? Do you have and any you idea? Stand up and get up into that top shelf. All you have to do and is reach up to that home. shelf. You're and, so right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You are right. Okay. I am wrong. And I think to myself you know what? I'll never Okay, when I think to myself, she used the last single piece of toilet paper. Because <laughs> I don't have to waste anything. Why wouldn't she have reached wrong. above the thing and oh, brought so down sorry. another... Again. Right, Again. okay. Uh, uh, for a lot of you who are my age, our parents were the product of the Depression. Remember the Depression. And one of the... the, uh, one of the my mother would have all these um, uh, budget-saving things. Like, she's never put out a whole cube of butter, ever, ever. You had to cut the cube of butter in half. Why, Mommy, why do we have to cut it out? Because when the half a cube is out there, people think they're taking the same amount and they take the whole cube, but the cube goes twice as long. And you know, there is some wisdom to that. And um, anyway, anyway. Okay, so can I take and a moment? I did. I butter is my luxury, and Alan just bought. Uh, I know. I don't know if you tried our newest butter, Caroline. It's oh from yeah, house. yeah. I gave. I gave as a house gift. Well, you shouldn't mention the name of the person. Oh really? No. Oh, I think he'd love it. Well, I don't know if he would or he probably would, but oh, you don't know. You never I know. Would. Okay, yeah, you never know. Yeah, it's a I'm it's kidding. a wonderful famous person. That's all you have to say. It's a wonderful. His initials are T. It's a dear friend we've known for <laughs> 35 <laughs> years. Wonderful. Anyway, what was house for dinner? This guy has an amazing taste. And what do you bring? 
Raymond, he's got everything. Everything. He doesn't need a bottle of wine. He probably would like the products. He actually mentioned at dinner that night how much he likes our products. Well, I shouldn't say that. Oh, he's not endorsing it. But what I brought him as a gift is four cubes of butter, like a pound of butter in each. They're French butter. I'm going to put it on uh, ice and then a, um, a loaf of this unbelievable bread that we get from a bakery that's they, they're the only one that makes this kind of bread. Well, that's the only bread I eat. The next day, I get an email from him that the subject line was impacts. That butter. And there were a bunch <laughs> of explanations. And then his partner wrote me and said, What's in that butter? Crack? He can't stop eating it. <laughs> There's nothing like French butter. Yeah, you know, people think butter is butter. Butter is not butter. It's not. And, and Caroline gets the Italian butter, which is so incredible. It, when you use the highest quality butter in your deglazing of sauces, which I, one of the things I love to teach you when we do our cooking shows, it just tastes better. You can taste the difference. And it's so delicious and so beautiful. Butter, cream, olive oil, yeah. all these things are the are, are the, uh, the the stuff of life, the stuff of life, the best quality food. I remember. Um, and you're gonna have to go get that butter. Everyone wants to know the name of it now. Okay. Yeah, we should tell them. About, we you know we should post it. These people well, are not we... gonna know what hits them. But I'll tell you, we just ordered what another eighteen cubes. We went, I gave so much of it away that I'm almost out of it and he just ordered another case. It comes in a case and you, gotta give, you can't buy a cube. You got to send to France for it and then they send you in a styrofoam cooler. Do you remember how much it was, Alan? Yes, it was $18,000. Oh, 18, that's all. But that <laughs> included shipping. <laughs> and you got the styrofoam cooler. Six times. You're such a great executive. It's so great. No, you don't have to go to an office. No, you don't have to. That's what's changed. You don't have to. Anyway, today uh, we did, as I do once a year, I do, um, we do a 24 hour urine test to um, show our complete hormone profile. If you've never done that, uh, in the back of my books, there's Life Extension. You can go and find it at a discounted price uh, that Life Extension has so graciously allowed for my people, and I consider you my people. But anyway, today we had a, a three-hour meeting with Dr. Jonathan Wright. Who knows everything. And I have interviewed him, 
out of my 27 books, uh, at least seven or eight times, and all some it, he's just so he's packed been, I told him with to information. You. I, I want to I wanted tell you that story. You're a walking encyclopedia. Well, I want to tell you the story about what Alan may have discovered today. You know Alan wears the sunglasses all the time. Why does he do that? Because bright lights really affect his eyes badly. He's got something called leprospasm, and it started way back when he was eight years old, and he was hung by those rotten little bullies that hung little eight-year-old Alan and left him to die hanging by a rope. I, um, I'm so hung up. <laughs> and an angel in the form of an old man heard the whimpering and went in and cut him down. Okay, every time I tell that story, I get emotional. But anyway. But I didn't tell Suzanne the story. My mother did. Yeah, because I was writing a book, and I said, Margaret, tell me about Alan as a little boy. And she said, well, after the hanging, I went, what? What? I came out and said, why don't you tell me? So anyway, we've been dealing with what the... All these years later, the residual effects are here. It causes, because it, they broke his neck, and he didn't know it, nobody fixed it. Because back then, he didn't call the police, he didn't do anything. And so, <clears throat> we're talking to Jonathan Wright, who's always right. I always say that, W-R-I-G-H-T. His well, office is in, in Tahoma, uh, Washington. Oh, Tuck Willow. Okay, right. There are two Jonathan Wrights in Washington. Oh, right, Washington, right, right. Not in but Seattle. This one is in Tuck Willow. Yeah. Tuck Willow. Jonathan Wright is a Harvard twin major. This is a major guy. He, he um, knows everything. gave up all the money he could have made by being a Harvard twin major uh, doctor uh, to be a holistic, alternative, integrative, and he's been persecuted for it. At, uh, about 20 years ago, when I first started working with him, Longer. the um, the FDA, was it the FDA or the FBI? I have no idea. One of the agencies, it starts with an F, raided his office like a mafia hit and trashed his office and, uh, and at gunpoint and emerged triumphantly with vitamin D and carnitine. Well, they should have. So, yeah. today, I've been so worried about Alan and this eye thing and what can I do? And I, I, I write books to try to figure out what's wrong with Alan's eyes. You know what Jonathan said today? That's magnesium deficiency. All this blinking, all this sensitivity, all it's cre cramping in the eyes. Because as my muscles are coming back from being in bed for so long this year, I've been putting this magnesium foam on my legs to oh, stop the cramping. Oh, what? I've been putting. Well, I started, but I asked so you if you would do it, legs. and it's so nice. I look forward to it every night. Right. And what if? And I do it really well. And have you? You do. Really no, well. Really, no, it's beautiful okay. and lovely, but no, you have good. it on right now. Do you feel any different? You have it lit. Well, I'm feeling something in my rear end. Okay. Right. You check sure. that out. I'm not sure. I'm trying to, like. Good. Okay. What? Uh, you're okay. a bad owl today. No, I, no I'm not. Yeah. No, no. Isn't he, Caroline? He's no, bad out. No, I'm not bad. Anyway, yeah. that's Al. Al is not predictable. And so, anyway, what if? Everything that's wrong with all of us is usually as a result of a deficiency. That's what my latest book, A New Way to Age. If you haven't read that book, I don't care about the money I made from selling that book. You don't care about the money I don't. I actually book. don't. I don't. That's not why I write books. I do, I do not write books for money. Okay. I that's make money, right. but it's not why that's I write That's why books. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. But I... I she doesn't care. I don't. I don't. The reason I write them is... I almost I, don't care. I use my louder voice and but my accessibility... Someone has to care. Okay. Just okay. let me finish. Okay. My accessibility to these incredible people to find out what we can't find out from our regular doctors. Right. And that's what's in A New Way to Age. There's so much stuff in there. But Jonathan Wright, I put him in so many books. What if what he told you today have magnesium drips until you get your levels built up and then buy magnesium gel and put it on your face and on your eyelids and everything. And Caroline was telling me earlier that my granddaughter, Cornelia, they use magnesium gel. This guy knows stuff. Uh, if you want, it's there amazing. are two doctors. No, actually there are three. There's Dr. Wright, who's always right. There's Dr. Hertog, the most incredible doctor in all of Europe. And then Dr. Gallitzer, who's my anti-aging uh, doctor. Energy and, doctor. Energy. And this is the new medicine. Yeah. Whoever thought when you were a kid of going to an energy doctor, this is, 
He tests to see which of your glands aren't working at optimum and then makes homeopathic drops to stimulate so that that gland works at optimum. I tell you, feeling good is, um, it's all about understanding the new way, the new age. Yeah. Well, and also, if I could just circle back. Yeah. If you're experiencing hair loss or brittle nails, <laughs> or if your skin just doesn't have the elasticity that it used to, you go, these are the kind of things that Suzanne learns from these I do. incredible anti-aging doctors. How do we put back what's missing so that we can help from the inside out to get back those beauty areas that we care about? We just care about what our hair looks like, mm-hmm. what our skin looks like, and how our nails feel. So Suzanne's hair, skin, and nail review, unlike other hair, skin, and nail products on the market, yes, it has biotin, but it has much more than biotin. It has carotin, silica, which yeah. some people take that as an entirely separate product, but Suzanne has the collagen complex in the hair, skin, and nail review. Plus, it has keratin complex, right. which you know is incredibly important for your hair, but it's the same nutrient that your hair, skin, and nails need. Plus, it has silicone. So those four ingredients are this powerhouse formula. I add to it. She, she said it all. This information, and yeah. that's why her products are so incredible. We're the real deal. I'm not kidding. Um, we're a small company. Uh, I love you as my audience, and I love that you come again and again and again. And um, we are all benefiting as a result of realizing that we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. And if you don't think that's a problem, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you think that that makes sense, like maybe maybe I ought to pay attention. That's a good problem and eating organic food and not putting chemicals on my skin and not putting stuff in my GI tract that's going to uh, eat holes in my barrier wall and create leaky gut and all that. You know, you know in the 60s what and now? 70s, when we all started thinking about uh, eating organic food, the, we'd go to the organic, rest, uh, the organic uh, grocery store, and the people in the grocery store looked terrible. Remember that? Awful. And the food and always, the stores. And the vegetables yeah. and the fruit looked yeah. like, you know, it, it Yeah, the was, organic was like this. They were all yeah, they were all was more expensive, right? and weird, but they right. were organic. Right, right, okay. right, right. Today it's different and there are major stores like Walmart. Costco and Walmart. Wow, Walmart. They have They're the big, they have the biggest organic um, produce sections of all markets in America. Well, yeah. Costco and Walmart. Yeah. The two, I don't know which is bigger. Yeah. <clears throat> the reality is two of them. the price of organic yeah. food today has gone down dramatically in the past mm-hmm. 10 years. 10 years ago, it was, yeah, it's more expensive. Today, it's slightly more expensive. <coughs> you know, Caroline? Yeah. Get, what? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Go on. Uh, hello, Blue Fox to yeah, Red go Leader. Go on. Go on. Yeah, today you're getting, you're getting food that hasn't been sprayed with poison. That's so important. And yeah. Caroline, when you were here on Monday, I think we should go and, into and the by garden. The way, and by the way, we don't own Walmart or Costco. Okay? No. I think it's important to say okay. that. Okay, we have nothing to do with that. We have nothing to do with that. Yeah. So go, Mr. Walmart, we thank you very much all. for us okay. selling if your they, products. If they sent us a few shares of each one, <laughs> we wouldn't say no. But I would love, Caroline, if we went down to the garden, because you know what's happening right now? Well, the kale's, the kale's going crazy. And uh-huh. the cheddar broccoli is going crazy, and the cabbages are going crazy, and the artichokes are just starting to go like oh, this. Oh, that's exciting! And also, we're having two for our dinner tonight. My time. mango you know tree, my mango tree that yeah. I was really irritated with yeah. when I didn't think I was going to produce this yeah. year. Overnight, these things came out on every branch, and then it dumped the little, it dumped the. The uh, what do they call the, the little, little flowers yeah. that represented the mangoes now all that, stuff that were not little, strong enough to hang on and dump those little mangoes. and it left the the rest of them these little baby. What's it gonna be? This summer? I don't know. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be incredible. Yeah. It's gonna give you your your big summer crop. We have sold our house. Oh, it makes me cry. Oh, it doesn't I did this is the first time I felt that. No, We've been is, here for 40 The thing four is, years. the people who have purchased our oh, they love it. are the right people. They love I'm not going to talk about who they are, they but they're the right people, and we are delighted because our home has only been owned by three people 
And, and it's over where our family years, all grew over up Over a hundred years. Yeah. We've been here 40. That tells you everything you need to know about this place. So we'll be here through the end of September. And I'm looking right over there, out my window here, at our new house over there, which uh, today we called all the people who are putting a nail in here and kind of hanging around going, put this cigarette down and you get to work because you got to be finished by September. By the way, speaking of cigarettes, I remember we we added a lot of buildings here over the 44 yeah, years. Yeah. And one day we wanted to add this one building that the two of us live in, where we have everything in our offices and etc. Well, our bedroom is so, like a little house up there. So yeah. we brought in these uh, two elderly gentlemen who specialize in dynamite. And one guy always had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Who was sure. that? I don't remember that. Yeah, oh yeah. He, these were the dynamite guy. The dy I call them the dynamite dino brothers. Wow. Okay. Wow. But they were guys in their seventies then. Yeah. And they've been doing it all their lives. And they would I said, I want the foundation way down in the rock, so we can't dig down, you're gonna have oh, to it up. Yeah. I know. So they would dig these that. holes and then put dynamite down there. And then say, okay, all clear, everybody, all clear, and then kaboom, right? I love smoking air cigarettes. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, but I love smoking air cigarettes like my, uh, well, she my aunt or my cousin. She was so much older than me that she seemed like an aunt, but maybe she was a cousin. Dolores, I told you about Dolores before, the blonde, bleach blonde, bouffant hair. And the big voice, and she's the biggest woman I've ever known in my whole life. How big was she? Taller than everybody, and not fat, just a big, hefty woman, great looking woman, with the long red fingernails, because she probably took hair, skin, and nails, and she would smoke her cigarette, and always, one side of her mouth would crinkle up like that, and then it was unfiltered at that time. She'd take the long red nails and pull the tobacco off of her tongue, and then do that. I always wanted to play that in a character. Okay, by the way, yeah. there was something somebody sent me, I think it was on YouTube, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a scene. Okay. And they show this guy, and he's yeah. sitting there at a bar, yeah. okay, at a table, and smoking and mm -hmm. you know, drinking, mm -hmm. and he looks over, and there's a woman sitting on the other side of the room, yeah. and she's having a little drink too, and she looks over and they make eye contact for a moment, and then she looks away, mm -hmm. But there's something going on between the two of them. Kind of very Casablanca ish. Right. So then the, 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 the guy. And Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, the guy sends, I don't know, he sends a drink over or a bottle of champagne, something. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he gets up thinking, okay, we're on. And he walks over to her, and I don't know if he says anything to her or whatever, mm -hmm. but they decide to dance. Uh -huh. And she stands. She oh, stands so up. Funny. And she's. I'm not kidding. Two feet tall. She looks like she's seven feet tall. Then this guy. His face is right yeah, in her boobs. Yeah, he's dancing at her stomach. <laughs> no, her boobs. Oh, her boobs. His face oh, is right in her boobs. And he's going. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Can you talk this a little bit? Just, like, I, I, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do whatever you want. A little blip and then some whatever more ice. And then okay, some, I'm want. making an amazing dinner tonight. I just want to explain to you guys what a good deal you're getting today. I'm just going to go there. If you don't like your hair or your skin or your nails, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, this. Yeah. This is kind of incredible. It's kind of incredible. All right, but then we've got the less expensive. are. I agree. Here's your mini kit. Um, for the ageless hair and the large size, not this, the large size and the rescue mask. Yes, but the, uh, we hope you can jump in on the, the big kit, because that's the one that has the, the biggest discount. Just put a little in there, didn't you? Oh, just a little, yeah, I put a, yeah. I don't, I drink a drink and a few sips, that's what I drink. Yeah. Um, well. Well, that's our show, guys. It is? It's no. Oh, well, I have to run back to the camera. No, okay. I'm making an amazing dinner. Do you know what I'm making you for dinner? Um, 
quail? No, it's better. Ella la Twoof. No, not tonight. No. I made uh, fresh artichokes. She made from the quail for me on our second date. They're still warm. With a great chocolate deep sauce. souffle. And she fed ice cold whipped cream. Oh, I wonder this man. Okay. And then, you know what I'm making for dinner? So I'm making why um, would I go anywhere? butter chicken. Which is, there's the no butter, butter chicken. chicken. It's made with coconut oil. Are we posting that, are we posting and that recipe? It's almost like a chicken curry. And then. We posted it before. So yeah. Her it's her almost rice. like a chicken curry. That's good. And then instead of rice, it's called cauliflower rice, but you take a whole cauliflower, cut off the leaves and things like that, and then put in your Cuisinart, and put it in a fry pan with a cook of a coconut oil, and then and salt and pepper, and just kind of smoosh it around. And then you put the chicken, which is kind of like chicken curry on top of the coconut it's rice. Really good. It's kind of great. It's gonna, that's our dinner. It's really okay. good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good night, everybody. This was fun, wasn't it? Always fun with you. Super fun. Always fun with you, Caroline. Tell Bruce the reason he called me in the middle of Dr. Wright's appointment, uh, and I, I couldn't jump out of it. So tell him that's why I didn't take the call. Okay. I love you. Okay, we love you guys. We'll oh, love the, you. Okay. Yeah. Use the mini kit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so tomorrow the cocktail party is at 4 p.m. Pacific time, guys. Yeah. And now we Okay, all right. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And Al's just being obnoxious, Al. He's more obnoxious tonight than usual. Have you heard this? What than usual? Than usual. Anyway, he's my Al. Uh, Okay, good night. Good night. And...